Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at some figures from Hasbro's Black Series 6 inch line and we're going to kick things off with a really cool and iconic character. It is of course none other than the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Emperor Palpatine. Now I'm a really big fan of this figure and I must admit when I first picked it up and first opened it out of the box I had to laugh because it just looks the spitting image of the puppet used in the Robot Chicken animated series. Um, obviously that should open up uh, you know, a whole gateway of impressions in this video but for the sake of my dignity I'm uh, going to avoid doing that uh, and we're going to take a look at this figure in a little bit more detail in just a little bit. But it's a really cool figure, highly recommended and if you want to pick this guy up for yourself as always there's a link down below in the video description where you can do that that link will take you to staractionfigures.co.uk and at the time of filming this review this guy is currently in stock so don't hesitate show no mercy and pick him up so on to the review let's take a look at the packaging that he comes in first and foremost and as you can see once again we do get the standard presentation box design for the black series 6 inch figures We've got the window there in which the figure sits, as well as a stylized image of Palpatine up in the top corner. On the reverse side, we have another stylized image, this time of a still image from Return of the Jedi. And just above that, we have the character's name once again. Now, this is a European release, so rather than having a uh, character description and bio at the top there, you've just got multi-language um, names for the character. The same goes for the front and then all over the rest of the packaging you've got different languages and, and such. So there we go. That is the packaging. Now on to the figure. And let me tell you, this guy is really, really cool. As I mentioned at the beginning of the review, he does look a lot like the uh, puppet that is used in the Robot Chicken series. If you've seen that uh, particular show, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, you can just imagine uh, this particular Emperor Palpatine, you know, wagging his finger at Darth Vader and uh, showing so much disappointment in his new apprentice. Uh, as I said though, it's a very, very cool figure. Really happy with how uh, Hasbro have executed this guy. They've done a really good job in terms of the sculpt. Uh, the accessories are a little bit on the light side, again, no pun intended. Uh, but the sculpt and the soft goods on this guy are really, really good and make it for a highlight recommended figure. Now obviously uh, the articulation on this guy is hidden by a lot of the soft goods robe so I will save that until last and give you a good look at this guy as he is before we strip him down to his underoos and take a look at the figure underneath. So as I mentioned the figure is a little bit light on accessories now in the Emperor's case he does only come with the walking stick which is a fine accessory in its own right uh, but very similar to how they executed Yoda in this line you know where they created the Yoda figure based on his appearance in the original trilogy but gave him some prequel era weapons and accessories I would have liked to have seen them done that with this particular Emperor figure. You know, uh, some force lightning or a lightsaber wouldn't have gone amiss. It would have been really nice additional accessories and they'd have made the £20 or $20 price point for this figure a little bit easier to swallow. Um, the main issue that I really have with this guy is the fact that he can't really sit down. Um, obviously you do have a soft goods robe with this figure but underneath that we do have a plastic uh, sort of undergarment as it were. Now obviously this hinders a lot of articulation and it makes the figure impossible to sit. Um, so you know those extra accessories would have been really welcome but considering this guy is going to be stood up the majority of the time. Uh, I dare say that somewhere down the line Hasbro are going to release the throne with an emperor with full soft goods where we can see him in the throne area and get some more money out of us. But for the time being this is what we are stuck with and as I said it's not too bad. Um, it's a great display piece, you know, alongside Darth Vader, he looks really, really cool. And again, Hasbro have done a really good job with the sculpt on this guy, especially in the face. As you'll see, you've got all those wrinkles and bumps, very accurate to the prosthetic makeup that Ian McDiarmid wore uh, in Return of the Jedi, and obviously the prequel trilogy as well, or Revenge of the Sith at least. So very, very nice indeed, and obviously, being soft goods, the hood can be dropped to reveal a little bit more 
of that head which as I said is really really cool and we do get a sort of prequel look for the Emperor once the hood is removed obviously you've got the slicked back hair there and again all those wrinkles and bumps in the forehead and around the face so really really cool one thing I am happy about with this guy is the fact that the soft goods on him are really really good uh, Hasbro have had a terrible reputation over the years for producing really awful looking soft goods robes with their figures um, but this Emperor figure is actually one of the best I've ever seen it's really really nice and I think that the promo images and you know the press release photos that we saw of this figure really didn't do it any justice because it looks so much better in person than it did in those initial images uh, the soft goods robe flows really nicely especially around the hood um, and it doesn't look too oversized or too bulky, which is always a plus. As I said, the sculpt is absolutely awesome, and the articulation means you can get this guy in some really cool poses. Obviously, the plastic underneath the soft goods does hinder and prevent some of that posability in the lower body, but up top here, we've got some great articulation in the arms, you've got really nicely sculpted hands, and just, you know, it really does capture the look and feel of Palpatine from Return of the Jedi. You've got a really nice look overall for this particular figure. Once again, you do get the walking stick with this guy, and that's a really nice, accurate sculpt. Got that knobbly, bobbly black cane going on there. Obviously, it fits nicely into the hand. Now, as I said, the... Uh, articulation for this figure is primarily hidden underneath all the soft goods robes and what you can do to remove those are obviously you've got the clasp just underneath the Empress chin there which can be uh, undone although it's a very fiddly job to do just plugs into a hole on the other side as you'll see and as you can see there that does unhook the robe itself now you can then proceed to remove the entire robe itself and as I mentioned that does give you a much better look and appreciation at the articulation underneath. Now as you'll see the Emperor is a very skinny character uh, but Hasbro have crammed so much articulation into this guy that he really does everything that you'd expect a black series 6 inch figure to do. So first and foremost obviously we have a swivel and a ball joint and a hinge at the neck so not only can you look side to side uh, all around but you can look up and down as well you've got hinges at the shoulders and a swivel at the bicep you've got a double joint in the elbow and hinges in the wrists you've got a swivel at the waist and then obviously a lot of hidden articulation underneath this plastic robe you've got uh, hinges at the hips double joints at the knees and double joints and a pivot at the ankle so all in all, fantastic articulation, really couldn't get much better for Palpatine, and uh, all in all, it's a fantastic figure. I am very, very impressed with this guy, uh, really happy to add him to the collection, and as I mentioned earlier on, he does look fantastic stood next to Darth Vader. So that is going to do it for this review on Emperor Palpatine from the 6-inch Black Series line. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this figure, and I'll be back to give you a look at some more Black Series 6 inch reviews over the course of my next few videos. So, up next, we're going to take a look at the Evil Bounty Hunter IG88, and then we're going to take a look at some prequel and original trilogy figures as well. So, stay tuned for all of those. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the Force be with you.